Hello guys, BoxyMC here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a mod loader for GTA single player and allow you to fix that annoying save immunication error. So, what you want to do is you want to go to your computer and the file you need is this or whatever and your mod loader or your update.rpf with your mod loader inside it. So, don't mind that, this is uploaded by me and I know it works on hand. Yes, I've did this video before, but that is quite bad production wise. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But just wait for it to download, open it with like something like 7-zip and ignore the blast part. It do I've Everyone says it doesn't work on bluff, so this is bless only. And I don't know where to get a Bluff eboot, so I have a hard drive. So yeah, as so what you want to do is just uh, extract the eboot.bin file. Uh, I already had one on there, which I'm pretty sure is the same, but we'll just do it anyway. And you want want to ha have your mod loader, which I'm going to use Boxy MCV4. Obviously, <laughs> some promotion, um, because I want to mod. So you just should have an update.rpf, and this should be extracted with the only with the update.rpf and read file. And then I'm just going to copy and replace it because I already had it on there too. But it's a set. But I just wanted to show you. So, yeah. And also, it if you've used it before, that's all fine on the PS3. But if you you go on right click and look at properties and look at that, see if it's that 30. If it's not, you're going to have to do the steps. I should have done that before. Now you just want to eject it your USB flash drive or hard drive as you can see I'm gonna play it in my PS3 now we're gonna go back to the PS3 as you can see we're gonna go open multi-man and now So, you just want to load up, and if you're in, and find the file manager, if you're in, in, in like the little X and B part, go to, click on PS3 root, and then go to HDD0 game, and then bless 1807, you use it. And rename that. I honestly can't remember the mod menu I was using. I don't know, dot s, because I don't have a bloody clue what that was. It's definitely not paid menu. But you just want to go to dev underscore USB, whatever number it is. I so normally it will be USB dev underscore USB zero 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 if you're on the one closest on the right or the left is it's different to all models, so I'm not going to explain it. But you just, just want to either you just want to make a backup of the eboot.bin by like renaming it to .og or something and also do that with the rpf but I don't care about the rpf seeing as I already have it on there but I'm just, so I'm going to copy both of them over and you're just going to paste it to the game folder
and there it should finish and then now, now you want to restart if you have a GTA dot bricks it might not work properly so to check that go back to dev but I don't think it does but if it does if you are having issues try deleting it GTA dot bricks I don't know if it's mapped like that but it could be I don't, I would, I don't know what GTA dot bricks and now you just want to restart your restart your console And, ease it and turn it on. Now you just want to go and either put in your disc or something like that, or load it via like multi-man or webman. So I'm just going to do that. As you can see, GTA 5, you'll know uh, if you're using my mod loader, I have a custom intro which plays. It says the default GTA cutscene, which is that. So, yeah. I'm just going to show you it. Actually, okay, I kind of missed it. But, yeah, you'll know the text is custom to. And then you just want to wait for the game to load up. So I'll do that. I don't actually know if I do have a game save, but yeah, I'm hoping I do. But I can't remember. So if you load into a game or I'll show you if you're still loading you're still loading into Prologue with a game save. Show you. So I'm just gonna start I'm just going to keep loading it up. As you can see, we're in the campaign of GTA. So as you can see if I go to game and then load, as you can see that would just say like ammunition, ammunition error. But if I go to my phone and try to save it, it would say ammunition error too. And as you can see we've got mods, we've got Voxy MCV4. You can use any, this should work with any mod loader. So if you have something like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of that. On right, like if you use like James Reborn or something like that, or or like I can't think of any other. Oh my ghost, this should work. But also, I recommend V4 if you in, instead of an older version of my mod loader because it has console trainer, which does can alter a lot of stuff more than other menus can destroy mode. Like you can do stuff like that instead. instead. Like you can disable it so you can't use the pause menu anymore. It's good if you have some weird menu with some weird binds. But you can add, uh, I'll leave a version maybe if you guys want that to add scripts and change like the time and see you on. Yeah, let, let me just go and edit this. Bye!